Well, good morning. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. What do you say we get things started? So, you guys hear anything good on the radio lately? I'm a huge fan of your show. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Welcome in to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. Radio people are the coolest. That's just good radio. We're mass communicating. All right? Let's do this. It's showtime. Good morning. This is Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton on Talk 96.3 and 103.7. Okay, welcome back. Hour two of Talk of the Town. We are live this morning. We um, we are at the I'm in the Carteret County studios, and McGee is out again this morning. He is still on vacation, but uh, Patrick Johnson is joining us from his kitchen table. Nice to have you here, PJ. How are you? We still have. Uh, do we still have Hunter, our weather intern? Is he still with I'm us right this morning? Here. Good morning, Hunter. I was looking at the forecast, and uh, supposed to be about 80 degrees in Greenville today, but the uh, weather down here at the beach where I am in the Carteret County Studios, it appears that the weather is only going to get to about 66 to 68 down here at the beach. So uh, the cooler by the water, cool temperatures coming off the ocean, still keeping things a little cooler down here. Is that the deal? That is correct. The deal. Um, It always stays a little cooler by the ocean until. You know, middle of April, close to May. All right. Well, Hunter, and, wouldn't you uh, wouldn't you agree, Hunter, that it's it's not so cold you can't go out in your boat unless you're of a certain age and your blood's thin and you're brittle? <laughs> I can agree with you on that one. I, this Thank you, Hunter. Senior citizen uh, uh, issues here this morning. The the uh, you guys are I, discriminating. I, look, I old people. I got news for you. It, it, these issues persist beyond in the morning. <laughs> i hate to admit that you're right because i hate it when you're right but you are <laughs> by the way hen I, I, yeah. I had a perfect balanced breakfast just during the break there did you, did uh, you a banana it? and a a banana and a yeah. cadbury egg because it's all about balance hen <laughs> that's gonna make you irregular <laughs> are you talking about a uh, you talking about a chocolate egg yeah, Cadbury egg out of the freezer. Oh, my Lord. Oh, it's perfect. How about that? It's perfect. Balance. It's all about – life is all about balance, and A lot of talk about the $15 minimum wage. How about this? Novant Health has now said it's going to pay $15 an hour to all eligible uh, uh, staffers in the Wilmington Hospital at North, at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. Uh, so, you know, the company is based out of Winston-Salem. Novant is a Winston-Salem company. It acquired New Hanover Regional earlier this year. About 1,100 employees were affected by the change, a Novant executive said. The previous minimum wage was $12.50. So here is a, a hospital, the first here in North Carolina that we've heard to step up and voluntarily go to $15 an hour. And you know that's a good idea because, as you know, healthcare costs are not high enough. <laughs> I was going to say, we, how much will that we, be a markup in somebody's bill? Yeah. So if you so if you have to go to the hospital in Wilmington, just understand that they're doing all they can to keep their their wages in line. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're the first absolutely. in the country to come up with a fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage. I don't know about first in the country, but sounded good when I said it. Um, but I mean, is it not? Nice. But is it you? You you hit the nail right on the head, though. Already, we've got medical costs, the price of of anything, just totally out of whack. I'm sure any designs on trying to get, you know, some sunshine on and and, and like what the Trump administration was doing, trying to let patients see what they were paying for. Those are totally gone now. And and then you got this. I mean, twelve fifty is. Pretty darn high. Yeah. A friend of mine just texted me and said it's called Medicaid. Exactly. Exactly. Um, mm-hmm. The other issue, of course, is the nursing shortage in the state of North Carolina. And I know we've had nursing shortages at Vidant, and they're doing all they can to recruit nurses right now. But Western North Carolina hospitals right now, listen to this, Mission Health, which operates six hospitals in the, mountain, uh, in the mountains, including uh, Asheville, had 828 nursing opens openings 
is system wide. Six hundred and thirty seven of them were in Asheville. Now you mm. might remember there was that uh, there was that big uh, nurse there were the healthcare workers strike over there. They don't like the new company that came in and took over that took over their hospital there in Buncombe County. And so it looks like uh, this company is having trouble getting people to work for them now. They are offering a $1,000 cash sign-on bonus to, to nurses. So if you're a nurse and you want to live in the mountains, and who would? I don't get the mountains thing. I've never, never really understood the mountains thing. Do you like the mountains? So... Jill's family has a place in Franklin, which is the home of Mike Houston. Yeah. And we go up there about once a year for a week. Uh, we, we love Highlands, but it's, that's very posh. And obviously couldn't even dream of vacationing, let alone living there. And it's 30 minutes from the casino. So I'm, oh. I, I usually kind of find myself something to do up there. But I, I, after about a week... <laughs> I got I'm to go ready to, the to tap store. out. You, then you find yourself right. at the blackjack table. Right. Well, but I mean, after about a week, I'm I'm or, or like the I'm guy ready the to get the dance song. You find yourself back in Vegas with a uh, with, with a handle in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> find yourself in Cherokee with a handle in your hand. <laughs> but yeah, after about a week, it's time to to shut it down. But it's beautiful up there. I mean, I the, the nice thing about there's no internet up there where. Their house is. So, I mean, I'm totally detached from the world that week I'm up there, which is great. But I love the beach. Uh, Give me the beach any day of the week. We've been talking a lot about uh, the uh, fact that a lot of teachers are now no longer paying the NCAE, and I think that's a great idea. Joe is on the telephone, wants to make a comment about the NCAE, which, by the way, if you missed this last hour, first uh, crack in the dike that we've seen between – Cooper and the NCAE, North Carolina Association of Educators, not happy with Roy Cooper for making the decision to uh, negotiate this new deal to open schools with the with the legislature because God knows it makes sense that teachers don't want schools open, <laughs> according to the NCAE, but most of the teachers do want them open. The, the small percentage of teachers that are members of this union don't. Joe, good morning. You're on the air. How are you? I'm doing great, Henry. Yeah, what's your... Yeah, what's I, you? I, I called today because um, I'm subscribed to a, a, an email list that gets uh, reports from the NC Auditor. Every time the North Carolina Auditor uh, turns out reports... Turn, turn, your just, ra turn your radio down, Joe. you got to turn your radio down because we're on a delay and we're hearing your feedback. Okay, I, I don't have my radio on. Let me make sure. Okay. All right, well, I'm hearing so, feedback from somewhere. Go ahead. You subscribe to an email. Go ahead. Yeah, and, and the state auditor turned out a report either Tuesday or Wednesday that um, they, they were taking a look at the books of all of the um, the unions in North Carolina, and they had listed the Teamsters, they had everybody listed, and there's a there's a there's a law I think was passed about eight years ago by the General Assembly saying that every once in a while we need to take a look at the books and make sure that nobody's doing payroll deduction that shouldn't be doing payroll deduction. So I, from what I gather from the report, you can set up payroll deduction and have your, your, uh, your dues taken out of your check. Well, all of the unions in North Carolina opened up their books, except for NCAE. And basically well, well, wait, well, wait a minute. Let me, let me make a point here, Joe. The, the, the NCAE is actually not a union. We all call them a union because they act like one, but uh, and technically they are not a union – because if they were a union, teachers would be made to join. It is voluntary. You don't have to join. Well, I, I don't know if the, 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 the law specifically said union, but all of these people are supposed to open up their books. And out of the whole state, the NCAE was the only one that says, we don't recognize your authority as a state to come and look at our books. But they wouldn't even get the state auditor any numbers about how many members they have. or And, and the law was... The, the, the law that was passed was plain about, you know, you need to tell us what county you live in, what city you live in, and they were supposed to do that through the state auditor's, uh, um, you know, uh, office. And 
you know, I encourage everybody to go to State Auditor's website. It should be like the, the first link because it just got published two days ago. And, you know, I was kind of wondering, I had never seen a, re- a, re- a report from a state auditor like that talking about the unions, and I was wondering what triggered it. Probably like, the is NCAE. There, <laughs> is there a movement? Know. You know, you know I, I have no idea. But I just thought I'd call in and let everybody know that because yeah. it's easy to miss on a state auditor's website. Well, you're telling me something I hadn't heard or seen before, but that's interesting and uh, another reason to question their motives, right? Well, please go look at it. Look at it. Don't believe me. Don't take my word. Go look at it yourself. Yeah. But it just kind of slipped out, and nobody really said anything about it. Gotcha. All right. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. Um, time right now is uh, 15, make it 16 after 8 o'clock. We, um, we got Friday morning going here, and the weather is going to be absolutely gorgeous today. It's going to change. When, what's the baseball schedule, the ECU baseball schedule, uh, Patrick? <laughs> Yeah, six thirty tonight. Uh, Hen first pitch against uh, Charlotte. Then tomorrow, a four o'clock first pitch from uh, Clark Leclaire. Series will wrap up Sunday at one. And uh, as a result of the fact that we have baseball tonight, the uh, Rose High game will not air on ninety four point three. It will be on ninety seven point nine tonight. And of course, uh, we mentioned this earlier: the Havelock West Carteret game that we uh, most of Havelock's games air on ninety four one, but because uh, Carolina basketball tonight, the Carolina's uh, the broadcast of the Carolina ACC tournament game of Florida State starts at eight o'clock tonight on ninety four one. If you're looking for Havelock football tonight, uh, that will air on ninety six point three. So we're having to do some shifting around the ACC tournament and. ECU baseball and high school football all colliding here. All right, it is uh, 16 minutes after. The weather is going to be the story for the next couple of days. Uh, Hunter, our weather intern from Oakwood School, is live in the studio this morning. Hunter, give us a full update on what to expect. I know it's going to be really warm inland today. Temperature is going to be like 80 inland today, but down here at the beach, like 66, 67 degrees. And, uh, and then what happens tonight? The uh, temperatures will start to drop a, a bit, right? Yeah, so uh, today it's going to be almost 80 inland. Uh, 78 is the high for Greenville. But then tonight we got a, a cool front coming in, and overnight it's going to be 54. And then for the weekend, uh, 63 is the high Saturday, and Sunday it's 68. So, And uh, the beginning of next week we're going to have another cold front come through, Monday 49. So... Uh, Today and yesterday was just a warm front moving through, and temperatures are going to drop off. And Monday, Tuesday, we're looking at rain, which comes through with that cold front. You're saying Monday's high is going to be less than 50? Uh, looking like it, yes. Wow. Mm. How about them apples? Uh, about 10, 12 degrees cooler at the beach than whatever it is here. So It's going to rain gonna Monday night, right? School. Yeah, he said rain. Oh, uh, okay. Hunter, you go to the Oakwood school. Um, do the kids at Oakwood care anything about the big rivalry game between Rose and Connolly, which will be played tonight? Uh, not really. Not at all. <laughs> we don't. We do have baseball. We don't even have football at Oakwood. Yeah. So, I mean, especially right. for football games, nobody is concerned. But you guys have good. You have good basketball at Oakwood. We have a we have a decent basketball team. Yeah, it's um, been a good, ba- who's a good o- program over the years. Now, golf. Who's Oakwood's sport, big though. rival? Just, just who's Oakwood's wait, big wait rival for this year? Y'all see something? You'll hear about it. Okay. Who's who's Oakwood's big rival? Like it, for Conley, it's Rose, and vice versa. Who who is the Oakwood rival? Uh, probably Rocky Mount Academy. If I had to pick one school to be Oakwood's rival, Rocky Mount okay. Academy, or um, maybe Epiphany and New Bern. You know, you okay. know, Patrick was a big uh, star at Parrot Academy. You know that, don't you? He was a big Parrot kid. And he was a star there. At Parrot. I was big. There was no doubt. I was a big kid. Right. He, he right actually, about that. Is it true you actually played fullback and carried the ball from time to time? I did. I was the goal line fullback, baby. <laughs> Ran it in. Fridge? The the short fridge. yardage, baby. I was. I was the mini fridge. <laughs> the I was the. Fridge. I was the dorm room fridge. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> the dorm room for it. But, uh, yeah, our big rival was uh, in hoops, Wayne Country Day back in the day. 
over in yeah. uh, Goldsboro. That was the big yeah, parrot, parrot rival, parrot Wayne Country Day. Large for us. They have <laughs> um, probably about double the students. So, um, and I think their rivals, uh, St. David's and Raleigh now. Wayne Country yeah, Day I is think kind it of kind of off too. They're more of an Oakwood yeah. size school today. Yeah, you know about three, I think in hoops, it's I think in hoops, it's St. David's, but I think in football, it could be JP two and Parrot are starting a big rivalry since they played for the championship this year. Oh. Yeah. All right. So there you Big go. Happenings. Private schools picking yeah. up steam. Private schools picking up steam. You know what they've uh, done the whole year? Well, Kids yeah, in class, stayed, face-to-face yeah, learning, baby. in class yeah. the whole time, exactly. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, and, of course, uh, Justin wants me to mention that not only is the big Rose game with Conley tonight, but Washington and Conley next week. Washington's uh, Washington's got a pretty good team this year, too, don't they? From what we're hearing, I'm not. Yeah, I, I know Conley's got to play uh, Newburn on Tuesday in football for a makeup game. I didn't. I wasn't aware they were playing Washington next week, but they have played Justin, historically in the past. He just yeah. Washington's got some good athletes. Changing the subject, what do you think about Matthew McConaughey saying he might run for governor in Texas? Oh, weed will be his legal. Inauguration speech going to be all right, all right, all right. Do you go. see where Geraldo? Do you see where Geraldo's going to run for Senate in Ohio? He no, said, "No, I did not." Yeah, yeah. Good lord! He wants to be the Talk senator representing Ohio. Himself. Oh, is he going to run as a Republican or Democrat or Independent or what? I, I couldn't stomach to read the article. I just read the headline on Fox <laughs> and moved on. So McConaughey is saying that uh, I'm looking into things now. What is my leadership role? Because I do think I have some things to teach and share. Gracious. And what is my role? Why does he think he has some, th- another Hollywood idiot. I have some things to teach. I'm smarter than other people. He said, what's my well, category you, in my next chapter of life that I'm going into? You know this I would love to, as if, well. If or- he runs against Greg Abbott, I think Greg Abbott would, uh, would probably body slam him down there. I mean, you know this as well and is better than anybody in a lot of ways. Texas is a, I mean, everybody talks about Georgia, which it is a, an important state, a battleground in a sense for not turning blue and, and staying red. It's maybe purplish, but Texas, there is a huge push to try and, and get Texas the way of California in a lot of ways. I mean, you have Austin there, which is basically San Francisco, Tejas, and there is an amazingly big push uh, to, to, I mean, because if that state goes blue, presidential-wise, I mean, it's fait accompli. There's no chance. Yeah. Um, by the way, Justin says that Conley at Washington game is Saturday night. So thank you, Justin, for all that information. All right, we'll do a full wrap-up of all the high school football that's coming up tonight. Uh, let's get a quick break in, though, and Patrick will have some news headlines. It's a Friday morning talk of the town. Beautiful weekend. The, uh, today is going to be really nice. Inland temperature is about 80. Down here where I am on the Carteret County coast, going to be about 67, 68 degrees today. We'll be right back. Beat the buzzer and score big during March Mania at Greenville Toyota. Right now, get 125% Next over week. book value for your trade. Plus, our Greenville Advantage is always a slam dunk deal at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Air Service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport, offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. Living easy is the sound of children laughing as you make memories with neighbors and friends. It's the sound of nothing at all. It's the smell of the salt air. Hear the waters against the marsh grass. See the beauty of our coast, Bow Coast. Located in Beaufort, North Carolina. Southern living's best small town.
name is Dr. Neeti Armistead, Chief Medical Officer for Vidant Health. The following simple steps will help keep you and your community safe. Stay home as much as possible, wear a mask when out in public, avoid large gatherings, practice social distancing, and wash hands often. It's also important not to delay needed care. Vidant has taken important steps to provide you and your family with a safe environment. Learn more about COVID-19 and Vidant's response. Call 252-847-8000 or visit vidanthealth.com slash COVID-19. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bellsport, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Acre Station Meat Farm, along with Lane Angus Beef, bring you Farm to Fork Beef. Stock your freezers now with affordable beef boxes, just in time for the grilling season. Farm to Fork Beef brings quality local beef to your family. From your traditional butcher shop, Acre Station Meat Farm. Come on down to Acre Station Meat Farm and find out why we're number one in fresh cuts and friendly service. Acre Station Meat Farm, Highway 32 North, Pine Town. Media Library. Break the chain. Eat local. Tiebreakers. Air Service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. up with the information you need to start your day with Henry Hinton and Talk of the Town. All you have to do is tell me. Hey Alexa, play WTIB on TuneIn Radio. Talk 96.3 and 103.7. It's something, right? Talk of the Town this morning. I am live in the Carteret County studios. Uh, Patrick Johnson in for mm. the Let's get some news headlines mm-hmm. right now here at 28 after 8. Here's Patrick. You know, and a lot of times, uh, folks getting a jump on the weekend will head uh, north for various things. Maybe their kids playing some kind of travel uh, event, sports-wise, or just uh, heading up north. Uh, if you were headed on I-95 this morning uh, in a northerly direction, be aware of this. A tractor-trailer overturned in Halifax County. All northbound lanes are blocked. This accident happened around 6.30. No word on when you might see the lanes reopen. Again, that's... Uh, for anybody who might be leaving the listening area headed north on I-95. After the Republican-led General Assembly unanimously approved a bill Thursday to further open public schools, the governor did sign it into law. House of Representatives took their final vote Thursday morning. It approves the measure that requires public schools to offer families an in-person learning option. Families can still choose remote learning. Earlier than expected by a week, North Carolinians with chronic conditions are going to be able to get vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus. During a news conference, the governor announced that the state would move into vaccination group 4.1 on March 24th. That original date to move into that phase was set for the 24th. Cooperative Extension Auditorium in Pitt County, the latest new vaccination site in the Greenville area. Thursday was the first day they began exclusively administering the Johnson & Johnson shots. That's the vaccine with only one dose. North Carolina Association of Educators, NCAE, and their we Heart Public Schools Statewide Road Tour. Get ready, Craven County. They're coming for you today. NCAE Apple RV will roll through Havelock and Newburn. Set to be in Havelock this morning for a couple of hours beginning at 9.30. Newburn right after 12.30 to 2.30. The Lenore County Sheriff's Office investigating a bizarre shooting Thursday morning that left a man injured. This shooting happened at a home on Patterson Road. Deputies arrived after hearing a report of shots fired by neighbors. 
Apparently, the shooting happened on a property with a vacant home. Well, detectives say nobody was in the house, and so far they have no leads. And Eastern North Carolina has been represented on another national list featuring top places to live, Southern Living, ranking New Bern at number seven on its 2021 South's Best Small Town list. The feature delves into the natural beauty as the junction of the Trent and Noose Rivers. It also recognizes New Bern's historic landmarks, Tryon Palace and Gardens, and also the drugstore that was the birthplace of Pepsi-Cola. Those are your news headlines here at 8.30 on a Friday. Hen? All right, very good. Uh, let's check our weather update. We got our weather intern, Hunter Jeanette from – oh, he's not here. Hunter is not here, so I will do the weather. What? I will do the weather myself. I don't he split. We've got, <laughs> no. we've got sunshine today, and uh, temperatures are going to be up near 82 degrees in the Greenville area. The further inland you are, the warmer it's going to be. And uh, temperatures down at the coast are going to be uh, somewhere in the high 60s today, overnight lows in the mid-50s. Then things will cool off a little bit tomorrow, but still not bad. Considerable clouds with high temperatures tomorrow around 62 degrees. And then by Sunday, we might get up near 70 again. And uh, Monday, it looks like the rain is coming Monday evening and temperatures only uh, around 50 degrees. Uh, Current temperature outside the radio ranch right now is 63 degrees. It is uh, 60 here at the coast where I am in the Carteret Mm. County Studios. And our news and weather Mm. service this hour, a pair custom boats. If you live in eastern North Carolina, then you know we have the best boating in the world right here. And if you don't have a boat, you need one. You need uh, need the exact boat you want. And now you can customize and design your own boat with Pair Customs in Washington. Pair Custom builds Pair Custom boats. You can customize your boat with no more, no less of what you want and how you want it built. Pair Custom specializes in 21 to 34-foot boats, full composite with short build times, And with a pair custom boat, you get very high-end components. There's no wood in the full construction. My friend Brian Pear and his team will will build your boat the exact way you want it with superb craftsmanship. Uh, Brian gave me a tour of his uh, facility down in Washington on Tar Heel Drive uh, a couple of months ago. And, man, was I impressed. You can get a T-top, tower, no tops, front seats, back seats, no seats. You design your own boat, and Brian will help you. If you want a specialized top for cobia fishing or sight casting, Brian can build that for you on your pair custom boats. Check out pairmarine.com, and you can see some of great uh, the great boats that Brian has built for yourself on their website. That's P-A-I-R marine.com. Or you can go down and visit the plant like I did at 106 Tar Heel Drive in Washington. Pair custom boats dedicated to building a superior product at an affordable price. All right, let's get a quick break in. More talk of the town here on uh, Friday morning as we get ready for one of the most beautiful days of the year so far. 8.33, more talk of the town coming up. Be right back. Change. Eat local. Tiebreakers. We're here on Fire Tower Road at Full Service Flooring, and I've got the owner with me today, Tim Tyson. Tim, what's going on at Full Service Flooring? It's, I tell you, it's very, very busy here at Full Service Flooring. Business is good. Uh, we are open for business. Uh, we, uh, we've had a lot of residential customers in here lately, and uh, sales are good. Good deal. So t- let's talk today. I want to talk about some of the flooring that you that you see when you come in the showroom. Uh, Carndine's always a big name. Talk about some. Of, let's talk about Carndine and some of the other ones. Carndine is a great product. Uh, we are a platinum dealer with Carndine, which means we have everything they have to offer. We have here to look at tons of samples. Samples you can check out, take home with you. And, uh, you know, uh, I would say they are really, really one of the best as far as LVT and LVP uh, has to offer. Carnding's a great company. And what about the hardwoods here in the showroom? Hardwood. New hardwood. We keep changing what we do. We've got uh, some new selections in here from Fabrica. 
We have new selections from Mirage, uh, really high-end looks, some uh, naturally aged flooring, uh, some stuff you don't see everywhere. LVT and LVP are super hot. That seems to be what everybody wants these days. But hey, what about carpet? People are still putting car people still need carpet in their homes. It is amazing how much carpet's changed. And I tell you, we uh, by demand, some of the designers have said uh, we really need. Uh, some different carpet to look at, some some higher end stuff, and and so we brought in some Norison, we brought in some fabric. Uh, uh, not only is this really nice looking carpet, but you can make rugs out of it as well. Tim, you've got a great location here just off of Fire Tower Road. Describe where we are. Yeah, we're here behind Sam Jones Barbecue. If it's the street right behind there, and uh, it's called Tilco Drive. Tilco Drive, Winterville, seven five six nine three zero eight. FullServiceFlooring.com. In North Carolina, we get up before the sun rises and stay up into the wee hours of the night. We believe in working hard and playing harder. Behind every meal, there's a farmer, and behind every farmer, there's got to be NC, the official state identity program for North Carolina agricultural products. Look for the Got to Be NC logo wherever you shop or eat, and you'll know you're getting a quality product grown, raised, caught, or made in North Carolina. This is where Eastern North Carolina comes to talk. Coronavirus. You found the police. This is Henry Hitton and Talk of the Town on Talk 96.3 and 103.7. Talk of the Town this morning, and uh, we are live uh, from the Carteret County Studios this morning. But uh, I have a uh, an old friend of mine coming up here in just a moment. And I'm going to be talking to uh, Marty Peel. So, Marty, stand by. It's uh, going to be great to have you on. I do need to mention, though, that uh, uh, right now my friends at PPG Paint Stores uh, in Greenville have a buy four, get one free offer for you. And uh, with the nice weather comes more outdoor activities. But if your deck or patio is looking a little rough, your local PPG paint stores have the answer and a special offer for you. Through PPG Research, you get paints and stains, especially formulated, and uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, they'll, they'll do it uh, for decks, porches, steps, and uh, concrete. And they can do it for you right now. They'll help you choose the right one. And to help you even more, PPG will help you get a gallon for every, they'll give you a free gallon for every four that you buy. All you have to do is ask. PPG has stains. They also have, uh, they're made for especially hot climates and uh, still others that are made to lock down splinters and fill cracks to a quarter inch. And so, um, for a limited time, you buy four gallons of gas, uh, four gallons of paint or stain, and get the fifth gallon free at PPG Paints. Just ask at the counter to get your free gallon at the PPG locations: uh, Greenville, Goldsboro, Wilmington, and Newburn. And that is uh, PPG Paints. Thanks to them for sponsoring the show this morning. I've got my friend Marty Peel on the telephone right now. Marty is the Vice President in Public Affairs of Well Care North Carolina. She is uh, an old and dear friend, and I haven't talked to her in a long, long time, but she's with us this morning. Good morning, Marty. How are you? Good morning, Henry. I am so thrilled to be on your show and thrilled to be talking to you this morning, particularly about what we're doing over in Kent today. Yeah, what what is uh, what what is going on in Kinston today? Well, Care and NC Med Assist are hosting a, uh, a, a basically a free pharmacy today. It's going to be mobile. Uh, where are you guys going to be in Kinston? We're over at Granger Stadium, and we are Well Care so happy to partner with NC Med Assist to offer free over the counter medications to folks who need them today. And with social distancing and all that stuff, we're doing it in a drive through or a walk up format. And folks can come and get the kinds of uh, medications that they would buy at any pharmacy. Things like cough and cold stuff, analgesic pain relievers, things for their stomach. Allergy season is coming up for, with spring. And they don't need an ID. They don't need anything but a mask on to come up. And we can serve. We've brought about $100,000 worth of over-the-counter medications today. And we want to give it away to folks who need it. 
So there's no qualifications. You don't have to show any um, any kind of qualifications at all. You any, anyone at all that that needs medications can come get them. Absolutely. We really hope that folks who can't afford medicine, you know, and and for whom it's a struggle to to get the kinds of things that they need to stay and healthy and feel good, we hope that they will come out. NC Medicis does these kinds of events all over the state, and um, they also do prescription. They also help uninsured individuals obtain prescription medications um, when they can't afford them and have a, no other route of assistance. And so, well care North Carolina, you know, we, we like to be in the communities that we serve and as a, 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 a health plan that serves folks who are on Medicaid, we want to be in the communities. Um, helping our folks stay healthy. And so that's why we're over here at Granger Stadium. It, uh, the event begins at 9 o'clock and lasts until 2 or until we run out of uh, medication. And we are already having seeing folks uh, this morning driving through. So we hope folks in this area will make it a point to come out and get what they need. Uh, again, 9 to 2 today at Granger Stadium in Kinston, uh, this uh, medication giveaway. Now, are you talking about – uh, uh, people who have prescriptions for medications, or does it have to be a non-prescription type of thing? Today is just non-prescription, Henry. Thanks for making right. that uh, clarification. Today is just non-prescription. And folks who found out about the event in advance through their church or different organizations, some folks were able to pre-register and sort of order uh, what they wanted. But if folks do not have the opportunity to pre-register, they can still come and get a bag that has just an assortment of over-the-counter medications. And we estimate that the OTC meds are about $100 worth in each in each bag. So it's not a situation where you come up and say, hey, I need some of this or I need some of that. It's just that as long as it lasts, you're going to give out a bag of over-the-counter medication. That's exactly right, yes. Okay, Before gotcha. COVID, there was more of a shopping element. But with COVID, it's just we give you a bag full of stuff. All right. Yep. So it's a mobile free pharmacy event in Kinston today, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Granger Stadium. I presume you'll be in the Granger Stadium parking lot, and uh, and anybody who wants to come is welcome to come. Is that the deal? That is the deal, Henry. Thank you so much. Well, care is so happy to sponsor this event over in Kinston. All right. Thank you, Marty. It's great to hear your voice again. Thanks. Marty, as an old friend, used to work for Governor McCrory back in the days, and uh, you're back in eastern North Carolina now, right? Oh, man, listen, my blood pressure goes down when I start heading east. This morning the sun was rising as I was heading down <laughs> Highway 70 coming this way, and I thought, there's a reason the sun rises in the east. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in your home county this morning. I'm in the county where you, you grew up in Carteret County, didn't you? Oh, yes, sir, and I was just there last weekend myself. Couldn't have been better. <laughs> the weather was beautiful, and my mama fried chicken, so it was the best of all <laughs> worlds. Well, that'll make your blood pressure go up. <laughs> yes, it will. But I'm happy to work, live and work in Raleigh now, but there's nothing like Eastern North Carolina. That's truly my home, as you know. All right, that sounds great. Uh, thank you so much. It's great to hear from you, Marty, and good luck with your uh, mobile free pharmacy event today in Kenston. Good to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Henry. You take care. All right, thank very you. Very good. Thank you, uh, Marty Peel at 843. Marty's with Well Care. Let's get a break in. We're coming back. Uh, Patrick will have our pirate report and more. As we go, stay with us. We'll be right back. Break the chain. Eat bloat. Tiebreakers. We're here on Fire Tower Road at Full Service Flooring, and I've got the owner with me today, Tim Tyson. Tim, what's going on at Full Service Flooring? It's, I tell you, it's very, very busy here at Full Service Flooring. Business is good. Uh, we are open for business. Uh, we, uh, we've had a lot of residential customers in here lately, and uh, sales are good. Good deal. So t let's talk today. I want to talk about some of the flooring that you that you see when you come in the showroom. Uh, Carndine's always a big name. Talk about some. Of, talk about Carndine and some of the other ones. Carndine is a great product. Uh, we are a platinum dealer. 
with Corandine, which means we have everything they have to offer we have here to look at. Tons of samples, samples you can check out, take home with you. And, uh, you know, uh, I would say they are really, really one of the best as far as LVT and LVP uh, has to offer. Corandine's a great company. And what about the hardwoods here in the showroom? Hardwood, new hardwood. We keep changing what we do. We've got uh, some new selections in here from Fabrica. We have new selections from Mirage. Uh, really high-end looks, some uh, naturally aged flooring, uh, some stuff you don't see everywhere. LVT and LVP are super hot. That seems to be what everybody wants these days. But hey, what about carpet? <coughs> people are still putting car people still <coughs> carpet in their homes. It is amazing how much carpet's changed. And I tell you, we uh, by demand, some of the designers have said uh, we really need uh, some different carpet to look at, some some higher end stuff. And, and so we brought in some Norison, we brought in some fabric. Uh, uh, not only is this really nice looking carpet, but you can make rugs out of it as well. Tim, you've got a great location here just off of Fire Tower Road. Describe where we are. What we got on time, Michael? Sam Jones Barbecue. If it's the street right behind there, and uh, it's called Tilco Drive. Tilco Drive, Winterville, 756 9308, fullserviceflooring.com. In North Carolina, we get up. I need to be out by a certain time. Stay up into the wee hours of the night. We believe in working hard and playing harder. Behind every meal, there's a farmer, and behind every farmer, there's got to be NC, the official state identity program for North Carolina agricultural products. Look for the got to be NC logo wherever you shop or eat, and you'll know you're getting a quality product grown, raised, caught, or made. It must be time to get back to Talk of the Town with Henry Hill. It might be crap, but we love it! <laughs> On Talk 96.3 and 103.7. Talk of the Town, Friday morning. Welcome back to the program, 847. I want to say uh, happy birthday to my optometrist today, Dr. Tom McIntosh, is having a birthday. 39 again, no doubt. You always hear me talk about the great doctors and staff at Carolina Vision Care. Uh, and, of course, they have a full optical department, frame brands such as Michael Kors, Cole Hahn, Vera Bradley, Lily Pulitzer, Reese Witherspoon's Draper James line. They are sure to have a style that you will love. I'm going to go over there and get some new. I've lost my sunglasses. Can you believe I lost my prescription sunglasses? Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. But they've got. Uh, I actually, I can. Yeah, I know. You going to make another age comment? Another senior citizen comment? You closer to Biden every day. <laughs> Uh, you can get uh, popular sunglasses uh, <laughs> such as Ray-Bans, Costas, and Smith Optics, too. Carolina Vision Care, stop by and uh, see one of the doctors, McIntosh. You got Natalie, Scott, and the old man, Dr. Tom, now. And he's uh, one year older today. <laughs> Happy birthday to uh, uh, Dr. Tom McIntosh. Look for the sign out front with a big blue eye. Don't forget they've got their second location of Carolina Vision Care now, uh, fully open on Fire Tower Road, and Dr. Will Sawyer can take care of you over there. I had to sneeze there, and there was no way to cut Bless my mic you. off. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Gesundheit. Yeah. A lot of sports this weekend. We got Pirate Baseball. We got ACC uh, Tournament. We've got a high school football. A lot to talk about in sports. Here's Patrick. And uh, we got some breaking sports news. Cam oh, Newton yeah. resigning with the New England Patriots. One year, $14 million. Can you believe that? How much? One year, fourteen million. Never mind that. He's re-signing with the Patriots on a one-year deal. That that I'm did not seem there. possible. Does that tell you that they couldn't find anybody else? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I maybe so. I mean, or maybe they're not just not willing to invest in someone else. I don't know. I'm surprised. Uh, we'll see what they that. do with their draft. Yeah, that is uh, that's kind of a, a stunner. Check th throwing his headphones around last year and. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm a little. I know I'm. I'm really kind of. There's not a lot that shocks me in the NFL. That's a little shocking. Yeah, I, that's that's a little yeah, shocking. I'm with you. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's get to the Pirates. They were bounced from the American Athletic Conference tournament last night, 72-62 loss to UCF in round one in Texas. This is Joe Dooley who says his team just did not play well. I thought we were awful. I mean, we didn't play well. I thought they played really well. Got off to a good start. 
uh, hurt us with some, you know, our ball screen. We hadn't given up that many layups off a of ball screen defense in a while, and they, they bothered us early with ball screen. And then the second half, they just punished us inside with post play. Jaden Gardner led ECU, but he was limited to just 17 points. I did ask Jaden after the game, did he think that this most recent restart following a COVID delay that the Pirates never really could get going? Besides, like, our non-conference, um, after we came back from uh, – Chris's break, we haven't been in a rhythm at all during the second half of the season. Um, but it's not we can control. I mean, we're going through a pandemic, so we just got to do what we got to do. Pirate Hoops finishes this bizarre and frustrating season 8-11. and 11. Baseball for the Pirates as they will host Charlotte beginning tonight, the first of a three-game series. 6 o'clock first, uh, 6.30 first pitch, make that with a 6.15 airtime. You can hear all of the games on 94.3. The game Pirates will try to run to 8-1 and one at home. Pirates spring football practice firing up officially on Monday. Spring game planned for April. And in the ACC tournament, Duke withdrew from the uh, tournament because of a COVID-positive test within the program. They'll miss the NCAAs for the first time since 96. UNC tops 23rd-ranked Virginia Tech, 81-73. Uh, so it's UNC and FSU tonight at 9. Georgia Tech and Virginia in the other semifinal. You hate it for the kids at NCAA and T. They also had to withdraw from their tournament, the MEAC, due to a positive within the program. The Aggies were the favorite to win that event heading in. High school football tonight here on 103.7 WTIB. Northside Pinetown visiting 0-2 South Creek. 7 o'clock kick. 97-9. Big battle there. The uh, Crosstown Showdown Rose and Conley. That's a 6 o'clock kickoff. And then 96-3 is where you'll hear Havelock football tonight. They're 2-0. and They'll host 1-1 one one West Carteret at 7 o'clock. The NCHSAA announcing late Thursday afternoon that they would cease endowment games indefinitely, meaning they will not collect a portion of the gate revenues for their gaudy endowment fund. And Sergio Garcia leading the field at 7-under at the players. Harold Varner wrapping up his first round this morning. He was 1-under through 17. Hen? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just sent me an interesting uh, little uh, meme here where a Secret Service agent dives in front of Biden, and it says, heroic Secret Service agent dives in front of Biden as a reporter tries to ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple of notes uh, about high school football for us, our coverage tonight. Again, if you're uh, listen, if you're used to listening to the Havelock Rams on 94-1, that game is being moved tonight to 96-3. So you got West Carteret and Havelock tonight, and that game will air on 96.3 because of uh, the ACC tournament. We've got Carolina, Florida State tonight on 94.1. Also, a special presentation on 103.7 tonight, no Edenton Aces game tonight. So we're doing a special broadcast for two other local schools and uh, at 6 o'clock tonight, we're going to feature South Creek High School in Robersonville versus Northside High School out of uh, Beaufort County. Thanks to our friend Ashley Woolard who put this together for us. Uh, special Northside-South Creek football game tonight at 6 o'clock on 103.7. And it's brought to you by Tideland EMC, Pamlico Insurance, Intercoastal Bearings, Edwin Hardy Attorney, Federal Debt Relief Agency, uh, Nutrient Aurora, Wilson Jones Griffin CPA, uh, Keith Kidwell at H&R Block in Washington, C&G Used Cars in Robertsonville, and, of course, a special thanks to Ashley Woolard for uh, pulling this together and getting the sponsors together for a special high school football game tonight. Another busy weekend at the Radio Ranch, McGee. I mean, uh, Patrick, we've got uh, high Indeed, school yeah. games all over the place, uh, ACC tournament tonight. What do you make of Duke? dropping that i mean you know here's the thing they were on a roll and they, it, it looked like they could actually challenge to win the acc tournament uh you know a friend of mine who's a big carolina guy yesterday said well shashevsky just didn't want to get embarrassed and not make the ncaa's but they actually had a chance to to win a tournament didn't you think well you know they had made the kind of next four out list according to lenardi who's usually right uh with espn i, I they were playing to me about as well as they played all year they actually looked like and k looked like he was into the game uh, you know, I, obviously, the interesting thing is there, and, and so a year ago, Henry, when I was filling in on the bridge show before the Adam Gold show started on that statewide network, this was the day, or yesterday was the day where the ACC tournament, 
you know, it went away. Every tournament went away. And so we're on the air doing that live. But Duke was the one who kind of led that push last year. And it's all because of right. the university and its and its medical situation. Yep. There are, it's, you know, Duke have, Hospital they, they there, too. They not let anybody come to their baseball games. Nobody. Right. Well, anything. They've, they've not yeah, let anybody exactly. in at football. They've not. So, I mean, at least Duke's been consistent yeah. in, uh, in, right, in their go, protocols. We've got to do the laugh track. Got to go to the laugh track. Otherwise, we're not going to have time for it. Let's redo our laugh track this morning. Uh, Paul F. Topkins this morning talking about Daylight Savings Time, which starts tomorrow night. Here's a laugh track. I am confounded by people who are confused by Daylight Savings Time. It's an hour. That's all it is. It's an hour. Twice a year, it's an hour. You make the adjustment. You can't get thrown out of whack by that. But you hear people say things like, I'm sorry, I'm all screwed up because of uh, Daylight Savings Time. <laughs> If you find yourself saying that, you might as well just say, um, I'm not good at talking, so uh, I just let my mouth open up and let things fall out of it. Because I'm stoked with words. It's an hour. It's an hour. You didn't just get off a plane from Australia. It's an hour. <laughs> oh, what's happening? What? 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 What strange world is this? I, what do I? What's going on? Is this milk still good? What do I? Who's, oh, who's the president now? What's, is that an electric car? What's, do I have a big bushy beard? What's that? Hopkins <laughs> on the uh, laugh track. All right, everybody, enjoy this great weather today. PJ, nice having you this morning. Thank you very much. My good man, to see my you, Hen. All right. Have a good uh, weekend. Everybody have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday with Talk of the Town. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Hey, we're at Marabella's in Greenville, the new location of Marabella's on Fire Tower Road. If you haven't been to this place yet, let me tell you, you are missing out. I want to introduce my friends from Marabella's. I've got Sal, Massimo, and Pietro here. These guys are awesome. Not only do they make great food, they do a lot of things for the community, which we're going to be talking about. But, Sal, let's start with you. Let's talk yes. about the new location of Marabella's on Fire Tower Road. I'm a regular here. I love it. You guys call it Old World Pizza. Tell us what's different about your pizza. Well, we got, uh, we got two kinds of pizzas. We have the, the traditional, you know, American style, and then we have the Old World Pizza, which is made with uh, fresh mozzarella and, you know, the way they do it in, in uh, Italy. Massimo, when you talk about doing this food right, it's authentic. And when I talk about authentic, you grew up in Italy, so you grew up with this food. You know how to make it. Yeah, we, we, because we grew up in Italy, we know the ingredient. And, and everything we do, we do from scratch. And the right ingredient, is, it's been hard for us to bring over here. And now, finally, we can get a, the right ingredient to make a right pizza. All right, now I'm going to talk to my friend Pietro here at Marabella's. He's got the Nino's shirt on today. We're going to See talk Michael. about Nino's, which is another great dining experience, upscale dining experience, on another segment upcoming. But, uh, Pietro, let's talk about Marabella's. For people who have never been to Marabella's, what's the experience going to be like when they come here? Not only pizzas, but pastas, salads, sandwiches. you got it all. Yes, uh, we do. We, we have new sandwiches that we put in in this new location and we're going to spread it to the other locations. The guys here at Marabella's have won national pizza competition, so you know it's good. Thanks to Sal, Massimo, and Pietro. Folks, do yourself a favor. Come to the new Marabella's here on Fire Tower Road in Greenville or Marabella's on Greenville Boulevard or Marabella's in Washington on Carolina Avenue. Also, don't forget upscale dining at Nino's on Red Banks Road. Living easy is the sound of children laughing as you make memories with neighbors and friends. It's the sound of nothing at all. It's the smell of the salt air. Hear the waters against the marsh grass. See the beauty of our coast. Bow Coast, located in Beaufort, North Carolina.
Southern Living's Best Small Town.